Well, uh, Jonathan, who's doing some work experience with the BBC, having graduated from university, uh, is helping out on our show. We've got, um, we've, we've made good use of you in the last few weeks. <laughs> I you could say that, yeah. Very no, glad it's, it's that's been good fun. Yeah, that you're, you're, you're involved. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we've got you for another couple of weeks yet. Yes, so, uh, yes we'll all being well. Of it, yeah. <laughs> um, now, you went off to listen to some live music yes, last week. Yes, I did. Um, tell me about it. Well, it was the Sounds Easy big band. Um, that was at Friday at Grafton House. Um, and it was the, the alternate band for the Montanaires. So, obviously, one, one month is Montanaires and the next month is the Sounds Easy band. Um, and it was very good fun, actually. I, uh, I enjoyed it. You know, you can't beat, you can't beat live music. <laughs> and it's right. very cheap. You know, I said this last time, but it's, it's two pounds, you know, and yeah. you just can't go wrong with that kind of price. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it was a shame in that there wasn't as many people there. Um, and I, I, you know, I noticed that compared to the Montaners, mm -hmm. um, and I don't know whether they might have a different fan base or whatever. But um, you know, people, more and more people must go to to see this live music because yeah, support it or lose it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's essentially the case. Um, and yeah, no, they were very, very good, and I can I can strongly recommend them. I think the next time they will be at Grafton House will be on the tenth of August. Okay, well, we'll make sure we get that in the gig guide for the. Yes, yeah, I'm sure we will that. do. Yeah, thank you for that. That's all right. No, um, you've been having a dip into your uh, collection of vintage music i have indeed i've come up with a couple of interesting tracks for mm -hmm. us this week so yes. what have we got well the first song is by a band called the arcadians dance orchestra mm, I remember them. Um, and well, this was not, not <laughs> first time around of course but i know i'm familiar with the name and this was directed by bert Furman's brother john at the time um and this was actually recorded in uh, i think it was kingsway hall which was demolished um in the blitz um and this is quite unusual in that it has an organ in it um now sylvester holler said i hate organs on, on dance records um it it, it kind of adds a, a bit of a strange effect it's not overpowering and i know there are some rhythmic eight records where it's really kind of the you know this organ's really strong etc um but it's just it's just a nice hot dance dance track um this is 11 30 saturday nights <laughs>
Tom Furman and uh, friends. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and as you say, the organ didn't really add much. No, it? no, it doesn't. I, I guess it was just the case of they saw the the, the organ in the hall and thought, well, uh, can anybody can play we add that? This yeah. <laughs> okay, you it's, got it's it. just very unusual. I mean, it, organ music doesn't lend itself to jazz, but it just it was just there, and I guess they made use of it. Yeah. <laughs> Strange. Okay, good. What have we got next? Well, the next song is uh, is by an American band called the White Star Syncopators, and this was a, a studio band for the Grey Gold Record Company. Um, so I'm not too sure who appears on this. Um, this has another unusual instrument. There's a pocket accordion on this oh. um, played by I think called Charlie Magenta I've forgotten his name exactly um, and this brings back a lot of memories for me because when I was in New York last year um, I went to see Vince Giordano's Nighthawks Orchestra which is the best 20s and 30s dance band you know they cannot be rivals they're, a, they're an amazing band and uh, they played this song and I can remember that the chap um, on the drums had this, this whistle and was going wild all these crazy sound effects um, and it's, it's quite a fun record um, this is Mysterious Mose. <laughs> And if you think that sounds as though it uh, might have suited a cartoon, you'd be right, actually, because that <laughs> yes. was written for the Betty Boop uh, It was, cartoon. yeah, it was written for the cartoon of the same name. Uh, it was one of the earliest Betty Boop cartoons, and it's it's actually quite entertaining because it's before the uh, the Hayes Code came in. So you, at the start, it's Betty Boop in this dark house, and it's all very <laughs> haunted. And she goes and gets into a bed, and she's lying in a bed, you know, shivering, and uh, uh, etc. And for no apparent reason, her top just flies off. <laughs> And it's this incredibly racy, and it's, it's quite entertaining. <laughs> yes, and then they cleaned all that up. Yes, yes, they did. A haze coat came, and it was all all cleaned up. Quite right. Okay. Um, well, that's uh, that's two interesting tracks. Now, um, Henry Hall and his uh, orchestra we're fairly familiar with. Yes. Oh, yeah. But um, you've turned up a, an item yeah, that this isn't is, played very often. This is a bit of an unusual one. Um, when people think of Henry Hall, they think of things like Teddy Bear's Picnic mm-hmm. and, you know, the nice genteel and... and polite chap who did the you know the dance music etc um and this is a usual record this is um one of two tracks that henry hall wrote himself um and i think more than anything it just shows how how tight the band was and how 
precise they could play. Um, when you hear this record, there's there's not nothing is that is out of pace with the rest of the band. Um, everything's very very tightly arranged, and the the attack they have is absolutely amazing. And if anything, it just shows what a talented band he led, really. Mm. Um, and this. It's very, very experimental, this record, actually. This was 1934, um, and you, you kind of hear this and you think it would have been a lot, lot later um, in terms of when it was written, but, you know, you have to kind of think, when you, when you listen to this, what on earth possessed Henry Hall to write this? It's just very unusual. Um, this is a song called Wild Ride, a study in foxtrot rhythm. <laughs> Henry Hall and his orchestra and a piece called Wild Ride and we were just speculating about that because yeah. to my mind that's definitely got sort of railway inspiration behind mm. it you could hear the yeah the, I know the, and the tracks the flip side of this record is equally as fast and frantic and you know I just have to say that this is completely off the wall for anything that was happening in, in 1934 especially for a British band yeah. at that time it's just remarkable really what they what they were doing yeah fantastic um, oh, well thank you for turning that's those all right. a very interesting uh, selection there Jonathan well done um, now uh, just looking at ahead a bit if you're mm-hmm. a, if you're a fan of the music of the 1930s and 40s then um there is a new book out about uh, the life of lou stone um and it's by tony steve Aker. it's called a modest maestro yes um and we think that uh, mrs lou stone may yes. be making a a guest appearance in in london yeah there's an event also. coming up um in a f- in the autumn uh with the Piccadilly Dance Orchestra um, and I think it's at the Café de Paris and I believe that his widow Joyce is going to be there um, and she was interviewed for many many hours by the author to, to make this book mm. um, and yeah I mean she's I, I think she's easily in her late 90s or 100s now mm. Mm. Um, and uh, but 
yeah, she has all these wonderful memories. And apparently in the book she can recount, you know, meeting Alberti in the studio and all these all these wonderful tales of, of recording with the orchestra, etc. Um, but, you know, she outlived him for, for a long time because I think you said he died in... 19- 1969. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a long time ago. Yes. Blimey. Right, OK, well, um, we'll try and find out a bit more about that yeah, I nearer think so. the time. Mm. Jonathan, thanks for popping in. That's all right, uh, thank you. Good, uh, very nice contribution, I appreciate it. Let's hear a bit of Lou Stone and his orchestra. East of the Sun. Tune, east of the sun and west of the moon. 